The Siconic L308X has been designed to meet the needs of the next generation of image and filmmakers. It blends the best features of the 308S and 308DC with some added functionality. For professionals, carry a second meter for your assistant or easily fit into your pocket to take on tech scuds. For beginners, you will have a profoundly accurate meter to get proper exposures and start developing lighting recipes for use for years to come. And for passionate film shooters, this is the perfect meter to pair with your vintage film cameras for accurate exposures. The 308X has three display modes, photo with ambient, cordless flash and corded flash modes, HD Cine for DSLRs and mirrorless cameras, allowing you to select your shutter speed, frame rate, and illuminance mode. And Cine mode for cinema cameras, allowing you to select your frame rate, shutter angle, and illuminance mode as well. Accuracy is the legacy of the 308 series. The 308X is able to measure light from 0 to 19.9 EV at ISO 100. Your exposures are guaranteed to be spot on with this meter's repeat accuracy within plus or minus 0.1 EV. You can also match your L308X to another meter or your camera's exposure by calibration compensation function with the range of plus or minus 1 EV in 0.1 step increments. A clutter-free interface and ergonomic design make the 308 a breeze to use. The sliding lumosphere reveals a lens with 40-degree reception angle for reflected light measurement. The optional luma disc enables you to measure the light ratio or the exposure of a flat subject. And, as always, the single AA battery will get you through many shoots. We've included a backlit LCD screen that automatically turns on in dim-lit conditions under EV5 and aperture priority in photo ambient mode. From previous 308 models, we have added ISO 850, a base for some very popular cine cameras. Now you can always have a meter with you for location scouting and second assistance. Doing a two-person interview? Make sure each of your subjects is equally illuminated. Resurrecting that old film camera for some classic portraits? Make sure your exposures are right on. The 308X is the perfect blend of features to be your first meter and the meter you always have with you. Ambient light is any form of continuous light. For example, the sun, studio hot lights, or any non-strobe light. The L308S makes it simple to get accurate exposures in any ambient light situation. This quick visual overview will have you ready to meter in just a couple minutes. To do an ambient light meter reading, select the sun icon by pressing the mode button until the sun is selected. We're now in ambient metering mode. In order to freeze action or create motion blur, photographers often use shutter priority mode. Let's do an example shutter priority reading. Make sure that both the sun icon and the T are both selected. You are now in shutter priority mode. Click the measure button. The meter now displays the correct aperture. An EU reading indicates you don't have enough light. If it's blinking, you will have to add more light, and if it's solid, you'll have to adjust your shutter or aperture. To adjust your ISO, simply hold down the ISO button and use the up or down buttons. With just these few simple metering techniques, you can now get accurate exposures in any ambient light situation. Videos that follow will help you set up your meter, guide you through the basics of light metering, and even show you a few advanced techniques. Let's get started. In this first video, we'll illustrate how to get your L478DR up and running and give you a brief overview of its basic functions. First, let's install the batteries. Simply release the battery cover latch and lift the battery cover off. The L478DR takes two AAA batteries. Power the meter on by pressing and holding the power button. The startup menu screen appears first. The unit is now ready to operate, but before we start metering, Let's take a quick tour of the different metering functions the L478DR has to offer. Let's first select your desired metering mode by touching the measuring mode icon. This brings you to the measuring mode selection screen. The Siconic L478DR has 12 special metering modes, all displayed here. Ambient T, F and T plus F, HD Cine and Cine, Illuminance, Luminance, Flash Cordless, Cordless Multiple Flash, Cord PC, Cord PC Multiple Flash, Radio Triggering, and Radio Triggering Multiple Flash. This is the standard default setting, 
but you can also unselect those modes that you don't use often from the custom settings menu. Let's start with ambient mode. Here you'll notice several sun icons which represent ambient metering modes. The measuring screen displays exposure settings and shutter speeds, apertures, and ISO, just like your camera. The T icon stands for time, shutter speed priority. The F is for f-stop, aperture priority. The up and down arrows let you scroll to make exposure settings either in shutter speed or aperture settings depending on the measuring mode you select. In the upper right hand corner, you will see the ISO setting. This can be adjusted by scrolling the up and down ISO arrows until the desired setting is achieved. Press the measuring button to take a measurement. Measured values are displayed in this area. Even after taking a measurement, any changes to the shutter speed or ISO settings will automatically change the measuring value in f-stops. What about flash measurements? Let's go back to the measuring mode selection screen. Here you'll notice several lightning bolt icons, which represent flash metering modes. You can choose cordless, PC cords, or radio triggering mode. If you select basic cord flash mode, you'll need to attach a PC cord to the L758DR's synchro terminal. If you select cordless flash mode, simply press the measuring button and the L478DR will wait for up to 90 seconds for you to trigger the flash manually. Selecting the radio triggering mode offers wireless triggering and measuring of one or more flash units connected to a Pocket Wizard radio. Choosing which channels or zones to trigger can all be selected in the radio channel and zone setting screen. You can also set your meter to read for either incident, extended, or retracted mode in addition to using a 5 degree spot attachment. The light metering head also swivels to position the lumisphere and the color touch screen for better viewing. As new enhancements, features, and functions become available, it's important to keep your L478DR updated. Just connect your L478DR to your internet ready computer, Mac or PC, with a standard mini USB cable and the Seconic data transfer software will guide you through the simple steps of updating your meter. In the following 478DR quick start videos, we'll concentrate on meter functions, when to use them and how to get better exposures. The videos that follow will help you set up your meter, guide you through the basics of light metering and even show you a few advanced techniques. Let's get started. In this first video, we'll illustrate how to get your L858D up and running and give you a brief overview of its basic functions. First, let's install the batteries. Simply release the battery cover latch and lift the battery cover off. The L858D takes two AA batteries. Power the meter on by pressing and holding the power button. The startup screen appears first. The unit is now ready to operate, but before we start metering, Let's take a quick tour of the different metering functions the L858D has to offer. Let's first select your desired metering mode by touching the measuring mode icon. This brings us to the measuring mode screen. The Seconic L858D has 13 special metering modes all displayed here. Ambient T priority, F priority, T plus F priority, HD Cine, Cine, Illuminance, and Luminance. Flash cordless, cordless multiple flash, cord, cord multiple flash, HSS cordless, flash duration analysis cordless, flash duration analysis cord. When the optional radio transmitter module is plugged into the L858D, radio triggering is activated. There are three different radio triggering systems available, Pocket Wizard, Elinchrome, and Fotex. We will cover these wireless systems in our next video. In addition, three metering modes appear in the measuring mode screen. Radio triggering flash, radio triggering multiple flash, radio triggering flash duration analysis. These modes are the standard default settings, but you can also unselect those modes that you don't use often from the custom setting menu. Let's start with ambient mode. Here you'll notice several sun icons which represent ambient metering modes. Let's select a T priority mode. The measuring screen displays exposure settings in shutter speeds, apertures, and ISO, just like your camera. The T icon stands for time or shutter speed priority. The up and down arrows let you scroll to make exposure settings in shutter speed. 
in the upper right hand corner you will see the ISO setting. This can be adjusted by scrolling the up and down ISO arrows until the desired setting is achieved. Press the measuring button to take a measurement. Measured values are displayed in this area. Even after taking a measurement, any changes to the shutter speed or ISO settings will automatically change the measured value in f-stops. What about flash measurements? Let's go back to the measuring mode screen. Here you'll notice several lightning bolt icons which represent flash metering modes. Let's choose cord flash mode as an example. If you select basic cord flash mode, you will need to attach the synchro cord to the L858D's synchro terminal. Lift the rubber terminal cover and attach a synchro cord. Press the measure button and the L858D will trigger your flash via the attach synchro cable. If you select the cordless flash mode, simply press the measuring button and the L858D will wait up to 90 seconds for you to trigger the flash manually. The L858D features a unique new measuring mode, HSS. In this mode, it's possible to measure accurate, rapid, and repeatable flash output when using flash units that offer HSS mode. We will cover more about HSS in our next video. Another unique and new feature of the L858D is flash duration analysis. In this mode, the L858D measures the speed of the flash output. Measurements are displayed in fractions and milliseconds along with the measured f-stop value. Tapping the screen automatically displays the flash waveform of the current measurement. You can also set your meter to read for either incident extended mode or retracted mode. The extended lumosphere is used for three-dimensional subjects. The retracted lumosphere is used for flat surface or lighting ratios. In addition, you can switch between incident metering and reflected one degree spot metering by touching the icon here. The light measuring head also swivels to position the lumosphere and the color touch screen for better viewing. Convenient and popular custom settings. The L858D offers the security of screen lock, so settings can accidentally be changed during a shoot. Press the measure button until the lock icon appears in the upper right hand corner. Any attempt to change a setting on the screen will result in a lock icon appearing in the center of the screen. Only the measure and memory buttons function while the lock is activated. One of the most popular custom settings on the LA58D increments of T plus F selection. Press the menu button and select the custom setting menu. Select the increments of T plus F. The LA58D offers one step, one third step, and one half step increments. The most popular setting is one third step, which ideally matches most cameras. As new enhancements, features, and functions become available, it's important to keep your L858D updated. Just connect your L858D to your internet ready computer, Mac or PC, with a standard micro B USB cable, and the Sekonic data transfer software will guide you through the simple steps of updating your meter. In the following L858D quick start videos, we'll concentrate on meter functions, when to use them, and how to get better exposures. The L858D Speedmaster, the ultimate tool for the demands of today's photographers, cinematographers, and videographers.